Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials, as well as give a lot of baking business tips. So I actually learned a lot as I was creating these cupcake bouquets, and I've done them before, but I just haven't done them in a really long time. And in today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways to make your cupcake bouquets. The first way I'm showing you here is probably the most secure way. And if you're making it with larger cupcakes or regular sized cupcakes, you're probably going to want to go with this route. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need cups. I recommend paper cups. I just find that they're easier to adhere together, but if all you have is plastic on hand, you can adhere those. I don't know if I would use hot glue with it, but you definitely can. I might opt for something like Zots, which is like a scrapbooking adhesive that really puts things together very, very quickly. Now, once all of the cups are really dry, and obviously with hot glue, this happens fairly quickly, you just wanna make sure that you put it onto some sort of base. I just used a stack of styrofoam there, and then I covered it with a bunch of tissue paper to make sure it looked pretty. And don't be afraid to use a lot of hot glue. I'm going to set that aside while I show you the other technique. So this is going to be for my mini cupcake bouquet. You can also use the exact same technique for regular size cupcakes, but like I mentioned before, it's not as secure. So that way was really easy. You just take a styrofoam ball, make sure it securely fits into your container, and then place it down with the tissue paper on the outside. And the trick with both of these is you want to make sure everything is super, super secure and can barely move because the more secure it is now, the less problems you're going to have to deal with later on. Now it's time to ice those cupcakes. And I'm using my Italian meringue buttercream. You can check out this video in the right hand corner to see how I made it. Whenever I'm using Russian tips, which I am going to be using today, or when I'm making flowers, I always try to up the butter content. You can use other types of buttercreams, but I just find that Italian meringue buttercream stands up to heat really, really well, has a really great hold, and it does well specifically in Russian tips, which can be a little bit finicky if you have the wrong type of buttercream. One rule of thumb that I use when I'm trying to create realistic buttercream flowers is using several different shades when I'm making one single flower. And it's also about where you place that buttercream as well. So using this plastic wrap trick, I kind of tried to place that pink more in the middle so that when I pipe it out like this, I get a really nice blend of colors. Now I know a lot of people are very specific about what tip they're using when they're trying to create different flowers, but for me, I kind of just like to use the same technique and then switch up the tips. So you'll notice here that I am creating a rose by just creating these little rainbow arcs all the way around, and I'm using a very straight edge petal tip here. I switched to a curved one later on, and it produces just a little bit of a different look, but it's still the same technique. And although a rose looks a little bit intimidating, it's probably one of the easiest flowers to make once you get the hang of it. Now, ordinarily, people probably use a flower nail when they want to create more than one flower on one thing. But because I've done this pretty often, I just like to do it straight on there. I find I get more control and it's just easier for me and I don't have to move anything around. But if you're starting out, I would suggest you start out by just making one singular flower on one cupcake just to see how that feels. For this next flower, I'm using a curved petal tip, and this technique is really, really simple. Again, it really matters what consistency your buttercream is. So I'm squeezing the piping bag, and then once I want the petal to stop, I stop squeezing, and then I just lift straight up. And you'll notice I'm kind of directing the petals outward. There is so much symmetry in nature, so the basic rule of thumb when it comes to flowers is you want to make sure that you're kind of overlapping the petals. Make sure that you never ever align the petals perfectly behind one another because that's just not how flowers are. So this is again the same exact technique that I used earlier for the other roses. I'm slowing it down just a little bit for you and I'm just using a different tip and I'm also overlapping these petals a little bit closer together. So if you want more of an open rose, then I suggest you do bigger sweeping arcs so that you're getting bigger petals. And if you want a really tight looking rose, then go ahead and do what I'm doing here and really place them very close together. Now this is actually on one of the mini cupcakes here. So I don't want this to flare out too much because I'm not going to have as much space as I do with the regular size cupcakes. So what I'm doing is I'm cheating the top here, making it really nice and tight and giving it a gentle flare on the outside, but making sure that it doesn't stick out too much outside of the actual cupcake itself. 
By the way, you might notice that sometimes your piping tip will grab onto the frosting and then you'll end up with a bunch of frosting on the tip. Don't be afraid to wipe that off. So here's a Russian tip that I'm using here. And to be honest, I think I prefer the metal Russian tips to the plastic ones. They just work a lot better for me. And you'll notice there that I was getting some grabbing on here and there. Don't worry if that happens. Again, you just need to wipe off that tip. Russian tips require a very, very stiff buttercream, a very perfect consistency, so it just takes a little bit of time to work with them. Once you get it though, it is very simple to use. I'm using the exact same technique I did for the rose, but I'm creating a peony this time. And I really, really love this tip. It's easy to work with, but I'm actually piping in a different direction than I normally do. I want that curve on the inside because I want the peony to curve inward. Now, I don't know what it is, but I've used other types of buttercreams, and sometimes when the buttercream is very, very smooth and it doesn't have the same stiffness, it ends up being kind of flat, and then it doesn't look like a realistic peony. But for some reason, whatever I do with this Italian meringue buttercream, it gives me that nice kind of crinkled edge that I'm looking for. This next technique, again, using that straight edged petal tip and just creating some really simple filler flowers here. And I'm directing that pink more inward on there. By the way, the color palette for everything that I used today was basically a very, very small amount of Americolor pink. And then I used a little bit of airbrush purple. I often mix up my colors. I'll use some airbrush sometimes. Whatever color hue I have in really whatever colorant I have, I will use use. I don't have any rules when it comes to that. Another thing that I recommend is that you use piping bags that are fitted with a coupler so that you can just take on and off those tips really, really easily. That way you can have different variations of flowers but in the same color palette. And if you're making a lot of these, that is going to be a lifesaver. That's another reason why I'm not a huge fan of the Russian tips that I have because they don't fit on my couplers like the other standard tips do. So next time I invest, I'm definitely going to make sure that they fit my couplers. Before you place those cupcakes into the bouquet, I highly recommend that you place them in the fridge for about 30 minutes, just so it solidifies up a little bit and then it's not so difficult to handle. Also, I did not plan for pieces of wax paper to be individually around every single cupcake. However, I had to do that because I realized my cups were too big for my cupcakes. So definitely measure that out. But if you make the same mistake that I did, it's all good. Just add a little bit of wax paper or parchment paper in there and then slide your cupcake in. And it looks really beautiful actually. It gives it a little bit more luxury. Then to hide all of those cupcake bits so that everybody can be thoroughly tricked like my mom was you would think after all this time she would just know that I'm probably giving her cake. These were for her for Mother's Day. She she literally thought that they were actually flowers, so she almost dropped them all, and then my dad also almost dropped them all. Anyway, to cover up those little bits of cupcake, add in a little bit of greenery to that. I'm just using a regular leaf tip and adding in as many leaves as I see fit. So that's my technique for the first one. For our mini bouquet here, I'm just going to take little toothpicks, stab them directly into that styrofoam ball, and then go ahead and stab those mini cupcakes on there. This is definitely less secure than the cup method, but because we're using mini cupcakes, it really isn't that big of a deal. There's actually not that much weight to hold on to. Now, if you want to be extra, extra careful with this, you could definitely put a dab of buttercream underneath each cup cake before you place it onto the styrofoam or you could even use white chocolate if you want to be very very secure but honestly when I shook this it really did not move and we're going to do the exact same thing but with this one I don't feel like I have to cover up every single little bit of cupcake I kind of liked how the cupcakes were popping out and showing but if you want that true bouquet look then I do suggest that you do something like add little paper in between or cover it up like I did with the first one. Now let's do something interesting for the pricing today. What would you guys charge for these cupcakes and tell me where you're from and then I'll reveal in a short how much I would actually charge for each of these. A mini bouquet and a larger bouquet. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Speedy Fam. Right now I'm uploading weekly so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye.